All right, so what up with y'all? Got dang, got dang, got dang. Teeth, gonna get braces in a little while. But, uh, so what I got today, uh, this is a very important video. So I've been watching, I've been getting on my red pill, my alpha, my fresh and fit, my Kevin Samuels, my Steph is cold, what you want to name it. Uh, ooh, uh, roommates, all that stuff. So, you can't watch too much of it, but this is my like conclusion video that I make to uh, to show what it, all the things I need to always keep in mind. For one, men don't ask for much. Sex, sandwich, and peace. So if she's not giving you one of those things, kick it to the curb. A lot of girls act like uh, sex is some it's a handshake, not a value loaded exchange. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been hearing that from this guy, but I don't know exactly what that means. But I do know it should be treated like a handshake. Like a, yeah, this for this kind of deal. Like a negotiation or something like that. And um, I need to keep that in mind. So she's not giving you one of those things, kids. Kick her to the curb. Number two. Um, what else? Number two, number two, number two, number two. Number two. Your dating options is a reflection of you. So, a lot of women are um, chasing these top 10 or six-figure making guys and things like that. If you're not in those top 10 percents, because they're going to be picky because they have options. And they're going to, you know, have options right now. They're in their prime years. They're going to be picky and choose the best. So, don't sit around wasting your time trying to improve and this and that and the interest is not just gonna it's just not gonna be there for you there's nothing you can do to make the interest there other than that number three keep in mind that um a couple like the first three dates you need to be getting sex out of the first three days because girls will make you wait and leverage their pussy as long as they can because they want that time and attention validation from you free drinks free meals or whatever as long as they can leverage it over your head but after like i don't know how you would do personally but those first three days you need to be getting some box bro like you need to be getting some box so she's not giving you no box don't get don't give no more time and investments she's the wrong girl bro i ain't gonna lie there's a couple girls that i done, uh got some yeah from the first two time out the first two days or third date. There was one time, I'm gonna tell y'all real quick. I mean, there was this one time I hung out with a girl about three times. Every time I tried to escalate it somewhere, she laid in my bed and all that good stuff. And come to, come to messing with her, she, yeah, take me out. You not getting none until you take me out on a date. Keep in mind, I'm young, I'm like 20. She young too, right my age, a little bit older. So I asked her how many bodies you got? She said something like 14. I was like, she could buy like a four for four with it. I think I asked her what meal could you buy with it. Some, some child is jumping. I said, 14? I know you ain't make them niggas wait like you making me wait. So I got mad at her. I said, bro, honestly, I was kicking that hard. I said, honestly, I just got from work. I ain't just straight red pillar ass like I am now. I said, I just got off from work. If you're not trying to have sex, then I'm finna go to sleep. I don't know what you finna do. So I said, all right, I'm finna go wash my hands, go downstairs, wash my hands. You know, just in case she changed her mind. I said, let me know what you about to do when I come back up here. I came back up there and, you know, I smashed her. She said she wanted to smash. She kept trying to make me take her on a date. I was like, bro, what is that gonna change? Like, what is that gonna change? Like, keep, keep coming over my house. Like, you steady coming over my house and not coming off the box you trying to smoke with me and shit so I, that night I hit and honestly it was the worst cat ever like I don't think he took me forever to come like it took me way too long so I don't think I ended up yeah I didn't end up talking to her again until I was back lonely but there was another time it was while I was in Texas another time while um Girl came off some head. She gave me some, cause I ain't have no condom and I ain't wanna go raw. So she was like the second date I made her. Met her. She really liked me. 
know, I kind of liked her a little bit. The traction wasn't all the way there, but she did give me that. You know, she she was trying to. You know, she gave me sex on the second time we met, so I fuck with her heavy. What the thing was, I kind of messed up is, um, you know, I stopped talking to her. I wasn't as interested as um as I was before that. But that's the thing. I don't think she was that useful to me. But keep this in mind. She did get free meals. She got time and attention. She got what she wanted. And I got what I wanted. She wanted a relationship. But after that, it was kind of pretty much over with. Because, I don't know. I, I was less attracted to her. But now that I look back on those experiences, I, um, you know, if I come when I come across it again, because... Keep in mind, I'm like 20. I ain't even in my prime yet. Um, you know, I'm going to keep them women. I'm going to keep those women. And then there was this also one time I was hanging out with this one girl. Like third day, second day. And um, she wasn't trying to come off no box, bro. She was like, yeah, you ain't my boyfriend. She wasn't trying to kiss nothing. So, honestly, she was like, yeah, you ain't my boyfriend, this and that. We done hung out three times. I don't even think I tried to seal the deal. But it was the third night I spent the night over her house. And I was so horny, bro. Like, I could not go to sleep, bro. I was sitting there rocked up. Like, she had it on her. Like, she wasn't all that bad, but she, like, had it on her in the face. Like, but she had it on her. Like, she had all, everything added. Everything was adequate. She didn't look that good without her hair done and shit like that. But I could have got over that. So, bro, I was too horny. Like, I sat in there. I ain't gonna lie, I went to the bathroom and got off, bro. I had, I had to do it myself. Because I could not go to fucking sleep. And it still didn't work. Like, I was still rocked up afterwards. I was like, bro, I can't be in the same bed with a girl. And she ain't. I don't think I can honestly be in the same bed with a girl. Like, sleep and actually go to sleep. There's two, three things that come into that. Like, I, uh, comfort, horny. Nah, that's actually two things. Just two things. Comfort and horny. She ain't got me all the way She ain't took the energy out of me Then I, I'ma still be rocked up Like she gotta take the energy out of me when we sex Like we gotta go round for rounds Like to where my junk don't need to get up no more for the night But yeah um, I had to get off on my own So like after me getting off I was definitely unattracted Even a lot more Cause she didn't give out She didn't come off the Yeah And then I had to do it myself I was not interested at all anymore. She was still trying to hang with me and this and that. But I wasn't even fucking with it. But I know now I got to keep those women around. Just for times like this when I when I get hell alone. Like, I ain't nothing in my phone that I can hit up and call. I ended up moving away from Texas back to Bama anyway. So I wouldn't have would fucking end it anyway. Unless I could live with one of them niggas. But shit, yeah, um, yeah. Them the three things, the red pill things that I ain't keep in mind all the time. Keep this in mind, guys. They the made they made you wait. They're making you wait, but there's a guy in line that didn't wait. There's a guy that they didn't make wait. So why would you pay more for something he got free? And don't invest more time, more time to get the shit. I always try to backdoor instead of keeping it real up front. I always try to yeah, yeah, we can start off as friends, this and that. Bitch say we friends. If the bitch try to say start out as friends, leave the fucking date. Like, get the fuck up and walk out. Split the check. Don't even play no more games, man. It's a done deal. She don't fuck with you enough. But she just ain't gonna tell you that. And, uh, um... One, of my, one more thing is... You know, uh... I don't know, I'm brain free. Brain free. Maybe that's it. So, you only asked for like sex sandwich piece. So, if she ain't give me one of those things, get the fuck out. One. Two. You need to be, she need to be coming off some box by the, at least the third day. You giving her time, attention, spending money on these dates. She ain't coming off, just know you getting cheated, bro. Third. She talk about friends or today some shit along those lines or situation shit, whatever these people want to call the shit nowadays. Leave the fucking, leave the fucking day. Like just get the fuck up and leave. Wasting time. 
You can women are the only thing you can keep investing shit into and then it still won't work out. So keep the shit in mind, bro. Uh I'm I am i ain't going to lie, I'm kinda tired, so I maybe uh I ain't got a lot of things in the tank to kind of clearly structure this video, but this is the best way I can make it. So I did watch those videos that made me more less beta because I had to realize that I'm, I am the prize. The man is the prize, not the lady. I used to always put the lady on the pedestal. No, you're the prize. The guy's the prize. So treat treat yourself like you're the fucking prize, bro. Stop pedestalizing, pedestalizing these women because that is the ultimate recipe for disaster. Every time I pedestal, pedestalize a woman or I've seen it happen, they get fucked off terribly. Like, but when, you, when the man's on the pedestal, she ain't got much to keep her spot. She ain't got to do much. So she better do those fucking things. And don't never let a girl get comfortable, bro. Once they get comfortable, you know, it's a recipe for disaster too. They start doing shit. So keep your fucking foot on the neck. Not literally. But yeah, man. I had to keep that shit in mind. I had too much beta in me. This and that. That shit ain't that no more. I'm on my shit. Yeah, I'll carry on.